Hello bookworms, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Sydney. I'm Caleb. <laughs> I'm Caleb, she knows who I am. Are you prepared to be doing this in public? I'm 100%. What's up? <laughs> We're back again. Back at it. By popular demand. What are we doing today, Caleb, for book? Book? For episode three of Weird Words, where Caleb and I read books together. <laughs> and we re weird. review them for you guys. <laughs> so what are we reading today? Well, first, let's explain what's happening. We're in a car. <laughs> yes, we are in a car. We're driving somewhere. Where are we driving? Michigan. Michigan. We're going on a road trip up to, well, like a mild road trip. We'll be in the car for like six hours today, driving to Michigan for a friend's getaway trip. We just booked an Airbnb with some friends and we have decided to do a road trip vlog for you guys where we are reading Ice Planet Barbarians 2. <laughs> what is it? Barbarian Alien, I think is the title. I believe it is. And I'm going to have you read I the synopsis. I need the synopsis and I also, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I had to use a credit for this audiobook. <laughs> I was not prepared to be listening to this book this month, um, but... This is spur of the moment. This is spur of the moment. We decided to, I don't know, do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all you can say when it comes to <laughs> we decided to do this. All right. <clears throat> Twelve humans are left stranded on a wintry alien planet. I'm one of them. Yay me. <laughs> In order to survive, we have to take on a sim symbiote Symbiont? It says beyond. Sim symbiont? Symbiont. <laughs> <laughs> that wants to rewire our bodies to live in this brutal place. Yeah, that thing they found. Yeah, it's called the Kui. <laughs> Come on, everybody knows the lore, or you should know the lore by now. I like to call it a cootie. Well, she's wrong. What? And <laughs> That's actually, no, oh hold God, up, hold up, hold up. It actually says that. Yep, yeah, it goes. I like to call it a cootie, and my cootie's a jerk because it also thinks that I'm the mate to the biggest and surliest alien in the group. Oh! Hot dog. Barbarian Alien is a sequel to Ice Planet Barbarians. You do not have to read both in order to understand the plot, but the story will be richer if you do, and rich it will be for us who are reading it in order <laughs> and well versed with the first yeah Ooh. thanks yeah um so how, how do you feel about the the idea of reading another book in this series i mean i am expecting a lot of hot steamy uh questionable scenes but i hope the metlax make an appearance mm. i hope we figure yes. out a little more let's talk about our hopes and dreams of the Kui lore you know <laughs> If we don't get Metlax, it's a one star. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Might DNF it if there's no Metlax within the first couple chapters, so. You know, I'm a little bit sad that Vectal I know, I was actually really sad Shorshi that- Shorshi will not <laughs> no, be Poor here. Shorshi. I hope that they have little cameos. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll, we will, we shall see. Um, Otherwise, I think it'll be fun. I wonder if it's the same narrator, because um, the, the audiobook was pretty good for Ice yeah. Planet Barbarians one. Yeah. I just I know that I, I I had fun with the first book. Like, I was did too, it great? But we weren't together no. doing it. No, it. this okay. So this is what else is different about this episode of Weird Words because we're vlogging this. And I'm gonna have to share my embarrassment. <laughs> Your, of your Midwestern disposition. Of my Midwestern disposition. <laughs> While we're reading it. So, yeah, this so is fun. I don't think, we haven't like vlogged a book like this before. Well, yeah. a, bo a book period. Like Never together. No, never together. It's like Jack Johnson instead of better together. <laughs> never together. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get going. We're gonna plug in our, our destination. It should be about four hours because we had uh, Juno and Avi in the car this morning for about two and a half hours driving them up here to my parents' house. We just got coffee and now let's see. Let's see where we're at. It's a three day walk. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, four hours. Just right up the shore or the coast. Yeah. Four hours. And this audiobook I think it's was five hours. six and a half hours, but we're not gonna listen to it at one speed. We'll just probably try. We and might not it finish it on this. We'll see how many times we have to stop and update. <laughs> yeah, we might not finish it on the way up, but if worse comes to worse, we'll finish it on the way down. Yes. Are you uncomfortable with people seeing the camera? <laughs> no, I'm not at all. <laughs> so yeah, buckle uh, up. Yeah, buttercup. <laughs> buckle up. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right. Bye everybody. We'll um, see you on the road. <laughs> wiggle wiggle. Crap, <laughs> there's a big old slump. <laughs>
I started playing the, the audiobook at two speed and he goes, that's too fast. I could hardly, it doesn't build any suspense, you know. <laughs> and with books like these, it's all about the tension. The pining, the yeah, love. the slow burn. I mean, do you have any thoughts immediately? How far are we? Yeah, I got a couple thoughts. Got a couple you. thoughts? We're still in chapter one. How? <laughs> How? How? We're listening on one and a half speed, but we've gotten through almost an hour of the book. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So we're still, or we're almost finished with chapter one. And we have met our main characters. These are, this is all spoilers, by the way. This, this will be a full spoiler filled vlog chat. That's what we do here on Weird Words. We spoil. We spoil. So our main characters are Liz is our new female. Right. And, and then what's the dude's name? Rahosh. Rahosh is our big blue alien. And Rahosh right now, he's just a little horn dog. Okay, so this, uh, the setup, right, is that Rahosh is kind of like this, what, Brute. Yes, you know, brute. He's, like, he's kind of like not the, the typical. He's not the. He's not the model. Bleak pretty Billy. boy like Vectal. 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 He's the the weathered one. Yeah, weathered. He's, he's got, got scars. scars. He's been through it. He his he blue a... isn't as vibrant on his skin as the other blue aliens, I guess. Right. And his qui is resonating for Liz. Liz yeah. And Liz, like any normal, coherent human woman, is not immediately drawn to this person, thing, alien. Right. So we're right now going through the, oh, she just got the queen. So the queen was actually The queen was forced, forced upon her. Was forced upon her. Yeah, she wasn't going to take it. She didn't want it. She didn't want it because she, she yeah, it was weird. It was weirding her out. Well, yeah. Some worm that had to be ingested or like put into her skin and it was forcibly put into a slit in her throat, which is pretty yeah. aggressive. But yeah, so that happened and now he has taken her to this cave away from oh, everyone. Oh yeah, his own little hunter's den. Yeah. Right? But so she's got the queen now. Yeah. And she's passed out. And she's passed out. The queen is, like, is like building her again. And he's barely able to control yeah. himself. This is like this is what I just grab grabbed the camera for. Literally right now while they're in the cave, what's happening is Ro Rohosh, am I saying it right? Rohosh. Rohosh, sorry. Rohosh would be like, oh, okay, let me make this fire and ooh, my mate's legs are mildly open. I wonder if she also has the third nipple between her legs, like sure she does, that Victal says. And then he's like, I better investigate. I better investigate. <laughs> I better check and it he out. goes and checks out her third nipple. Yeah. And she's obviously passed out. And um he's but, but can I say something? What? I mean, like, do I have to remind you how sure she met Bechtal? I know. No, I oh, yeah. Why didn't I respond to it that way? That's what I'm saying. Sure, she was straight up unconscious when oh, Bechtal... Okay. Some cunning, cunning linguist. Cun cunning linguist. Cun cunning linguist. <laughs> yeah, no, that wasn't necessarily chill either. Um, but my, my point is, what made me even want to grab the camera was, it, it was that situation but the, this whole scene of them being in the cave is he's like, okay, I'm cooking a fire, and then oh, she, my mate, I, I want to, I want to make love to her, and and then and then he'd be like, no, no, calm down, let me calm my boner down, <laughs> and then he'd be like, okay, let me reset her toes and, because they're broken, and then he's like, oh, but I'm so horny, and then <laughs> and then it goes back again. He's like, okay, I'll go hunt for my mate, and then he'd be like, but horny, <laughs> like yeah. he keeps going back and forth, and it's like. The Whip, it's whip a powerful flash. thing. You would know. <laughs> it's, it's hard to manage a queen. <laughs> so a little bit ridiculous so far, of course, but we've had some had some laughs. Um, immediately, already some Star Wars. <laughs> some Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars was already referenced, all right? <laughs> At least four times. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, like the scene in Star Wars. <laughs> exactly like in Star Wars, Ruby Dixon. <laughs> loves to draw that comparison. Well, Which, how else would... The, how else no, would I know what kind of an alien this is? <laughs> Just like the other movies about aliens that I've seen. Like Star Wars. It's almost like a callback at this point. Yeah, um, they called Seaman Baby Batter. Baby Batter, was that was a good one. Um, I did like how it started right where the first book left off. I thought that was... Well, um, it started kind of like not where the first one left off. Oh, but no, you're right. It started kind of mid, mid into the journey. Oh my God, you're right. Yeah, trust me, I know my barbarian. <laughs> timeline. <laughs>
<laughs> you sure did because you're writing a fanfic. Because I'm writing my fanfic. So my Patreon. This, this is very beneficial for me to kind of like. Yeah, see how it's going. See how, yeah, see how the world is developed, you know? No, you're right. I actually didn't even realize. Yeah, no, it's starting at the camp. Yeah. Starting at the camp. Interesting. Yep. All right, I do not know how we're still only on chapter one. I know. We're, it'll be finished in like three minutes. We're going to go continue. I think that's all I had to say. I just thought it was hilarious how he kept going from like normal mundane things to, oh, but sex. Well, it's, I mean, like... It's, it's primal. Yeah, and what you said, like, what? This is set up to be kind of like an enemies to lovers situation here. Hold on. We're in Michigan. Hey. hey. Don't worry, we still have three hours to go in the car. Yeah. But no, yes, I did I did say this feels like it's gonna be enemies to lovers, which I'm not mad about. So let's see how it starts to unfold a little bit more. Are, do you like enemies to lovers? Yes. Alright. Do you? Do you even know if you do? I don't know if I do. I don't read. Well, I stuff. wouldn't I wouldn't say base it off of this. <laughs> All right. I won't. I'll give you a good enemies to lovers in the future, but I don't know. Maybe this will be a good enemies. We'll see. You know, let me. Is Princess Bride enemies to lovers? Yeah, sort of. I mean, yeah. it's more like. He's the Dread Pirate Roberts. She doesn't like him. Yeah, but is wasn't she like taken? Didn't he like capture yeah, her? Yeah, he like, kidnapped her. That's a little bit different. <laughs> They're enemies. Sort of. Yeah, I guess so. I like. I guess that would that could be classified under. But I wonder if no, it's like a sub genre. But, but I will say, in Princess Bride, he used to be her farmhand. Remember. Yeah. So there was a history. Yeah, so they knew each other. And then he kidnapped her. Yeah. <laughs> I think he saved her, but in saving her, he kidnapped her. I think you're right. Because she was kidnapped by the other people. Yeah, Princess Bride. <laughs> so anyway, back to the Ice Planet Barbarians. Wiggle. Wiggle. I say wiggle, you say wiggle. 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 Hey, everybody. Still driving here. <laughs> So we're halfway through chapter three, and I think the chapters on this Audible are... I don't know, have you ever oh, no, have you wait, actually wait, wait, heard wait. them say chapter three? No, I... So... Because each chapter is a different... It says, like... It's a different voice. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they do chapters. Yeah. I don't remember, though. Chapter three might just be, like, a division mark or something. Yes, okay. The, the chapters don't really matter, because the book doesn't have chapters. So we're almost halfway through the book, and we have an hour and 45 minutes left in the drive. So we've been... We've been putting it away. We've been listening. Listening. Lots been lot. A lot a has lot been. A lot has happened since our first update. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Where should we begin? First of all, <laughs> we were told that this book was going to be a lot better than Ice Planet Barbarians One. How do you feel about that statement? Um. So if I'm putting on my generous cap again, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> it's objectively not better than the first. <laughs> <laughs> No, I agree wholeheartedly. I think maybe, maybe it's the whole weird, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just not, I'm just not bonding with these characters' stories yet. You know, I just have a lot of issues with what's going on, and, um, I mean, the writing I just think is not good. Well, I'm, yeah, put that, put, put that, that aside. aside. We'll get to that, I guess. Like, okay, so there was a sex scene, right? Where, kind of. well, sort of, it was the cunnilingus scene. It was when, is, are you talking about the scene When where she was using his horns as st a steering as a, wheel. As quote, a steering wheel. <laughs> I, if you've read the book, then you'll remember, you'll remember it. it. You should at least, because she is verbally saying like, I don't want you to kiss me. I don't want you to like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like just like I, uh, so on and so forth. But she would continue to entertain like, uh, the acts and like be right. into it. And and I and I mentioned I just out loud I was like this isn't doing it for me. And Caleb had said, do you remember what she said? He he said, don't you like enemies to lovers? Isn't oh, this yeah. sort of the vibe? And I was like, this is not the vibe. Yeah. Like because because because, because this is important. Yes, because this is why. And I, I'm not try, I'm not trying to like be very nitpicky, but. Like, so far, it's just not working for me because her saying these things out loud, saying, like, I don't want you to do this, and, and she still lets him do these things, and she's doing, you know, she's, she's participating. I don't know if it's, like, out of her own free will because she's saying, like, her mentally... She doesn't want it, but her quee, yeah, the quee. is overriding right. what her mind what is wants. wanting. Right. So there's... I'm, I don't mean to be talking so like, ugh. <laughs> like, no, it, it, it brings to question a, an interesting like free will type situation. Like, 
Are these her choices or is this just literally somebody who has rabies and even though they really want a drink of water, they can't drink water, you know, because like the parasite won't let them do it. It's like the opposite. It's like, even though she does not want to be like I mean, into this alien. Yeah, yeah. she's it's into like, this because alien. she's got this queen. Yeah, she's all of a Coo sudden cootie. Or yeah, what she keeps referring to as cootie. The word cootie has been said like, like, I think that if we did a word search on this document of this book yeah. uh, of the oh, word, like cootie, a word cloud. Yeah, it would. Oh, well, a word cloud, it would all be cootie, but no, I'm saying honestly, like it, like the word count for the word cootie would probably be like astronomical. It's kind of really ridiculous how much this word is being used. I would agree with you. <laughs> okay, so now in the well, story where- Well, hold on. I want to kind of like, I feel like yeah. my thoughts weren't wrapped up. Well, cook then. Cook then? Yeah, cook. Cook with what? That's why you let my girl cook, dude, cook. If you're not wrapped, if, if you're not wrapped up, then cook, go off. I'm saying that there was a disconnect when when it seemed like she mentally 100% didn't actually want it, but the queen was overriding that fact and made her have it. <laughs> yeah, so, and which makes her, like, her perspective a little bit more difficult to, like, yeah. get into because it's like, we love sorry, story. This, this guy behind me is acting like- Yeah, the there's someone at, right on our butt, messing with our loincloths. <laughs> a tail if you're touching him right now. <laughs> oh, taut ass. That ass. <laughs> Liz can't help herself. Yeah, Liz is really into his tail and his taut ass. Quote unquote. There was another great quote. I forget what it was. Like, What was it in reference was it like to? Bad guy? Oh, it was really early in the beginning. She was talking about the aliens that abducted her. Yeah. This was from Rahosh's. Is it Rahosh or it's Rahosh? Rahosh? It's Rahosh. Rahosh. It's Rahosh. Rahosh? Rahosh? Royo. Royo's. It was from <laughs> Royo's perspective. And he was like, I do not know what you mean when you talk about these bad, bad guys. guys. <laughs> about the other aliens that took them. Yeah, and it was just really funny to hear the uh, voice actor read that line. <laughs> Say, bad guys. Bad guys. Oh, and them. then and then when he was making an advance on Liz, and the way she said no, she said like, nope. Like, nope. <laughs> and now he's like, what, I, nope? nope. I, do, I do not know what, what this word means. What, nope, Maybe nope. it means that she wants me and I can put this this word of, to the side and use it later for her. Yeah, so I can't wait for him to be pulling pulling this out. Yeah, um, and I'd also like to say that there is no Metlax yet. No Metlax, which, you know, I was really excited for. But we but have seen the bamboo fish. Yeah, the bamboo fish, or like face eater. I the face eater things, those came into play again. Um, I think it's interesting how there have been a sex scene or like a... I said romance scene. A romance scene near the little bamboo face eaters during each book. And, okay, writing. <laughs> a lot of jokes and one-liners are being recycled in this book from the first book. Right. Not only the, the Star Wars, like in Star Wars, but also like, I've learned to not eat the yellow snow. And yeah, right, right, what right. Was, there was another one. Oh, no, yeah, you were just yeah. talking about the world building. Yeah, the world how... building so far in this book I don't think is very good. Yeah, definitely not taking as much time as maybe the first book. Yeah. But um, we, I mean, they haven't really been anywhere. They've literally yes, just been at the crash site and the cave. cave yeah. So I will I'll, say, I'll hold my judgment on that. I think that, you know, if you're really, and this is like, this might be premature of me to say, but if you are like kind of, you know, just like into like that world, like the ice planet barbarian sort of like story, I feel like it's almost kind of like a, a an excuse to just re-experience it but with a couple of different elements you know yeah. like obviously you know which i which i get it's it's kind of like i'm just waiting for it to get better like everyone says that this book is better than the first one so i'm just like something something has to start well, happening we, we haven't had any challenges yet really right and we haven't had any like super like steamy romance stuff yet it's been kind there's, of there's been a couple there's not a couple. Not super steamy. Not super steamy, but like it's one pepper like out of five. One pepper. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's fine for now.
Yes, I, I think I think that we've been talking for fourteen freaking minutes. That's fine. Yeah, you're gonna have to edit that down. <sighs> so sorry, future Sydney. All right, we're gonna go back we're in. We're gonna go back in. We're an hour and a half away. We're definitely not finishing the book before we get there, which is fine. I mean, we'll be in the car again. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> and we will finish this vlog. But bye. Hold on, hold on. Oh, look at me. Metlax. <laughs> Metlax. <laughs> They're happening. There are Metlacks. <laughs> and she has one hostage. And she's got one hostage right now. <laughs> wow. Iconic. And we're in a pretty part of Michigan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we feel at this point. <laughs> it's been a marathon. It really has been a marathon. Um, we are six minutes away from our destination and a lot has happened but in a way has not, it? <laughs> nothing not much has happened um <laughs> we have technically like an hour 50 left of the audiobook so we'll definitely finish it on the way home but that will be what four days from now <laughs> so we'll come back and finish the vlog once we finish the actual book but again we've listened to another hour and a half maybe what are, were your thoughts in that last hour? Um, I'm kind of curious. In the last hour, I kind of, I think that I kind of solidified why I feel that this book is less good for me than the previous one. Okay. I kind of feel like in the first book, it was more of like an entire journey. Like they were abducted, they got crash landed, then we met Vectal, and then it was like the whole language thing. And you yeah, know, yeah, then they traveled sure. back yeah. to, to his like people. Right. And we met his his tribe, and then they went and got the other girls. And like, it, a lot happened in the first book. Yeah. And I can confidently say, not a lot has happened in this book. No, they're like literally the first half of the book was just them in the ice cave. Yes. Yeah. Which like that wasn't terrible, you know. But it, they weren't like doing anything. No, they weren't doing anything. <laughs> the only upside so far has been the Metlax. I'm very excited. I'm so psyched about the Metlax scene. That, like honestly, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah. So happy. Wait, that, I love that she took dude, one as she hostage. Took one hostage. That is hilarious. She took a baby Metlack hostage. <laughs> Iconic, honestly. I, yeah, dude, I was rolling. <laughs> that was insane. That was really funny. Uh, <laughs> I uh, do think that it would have been impossible for her to. I must. Metlack. No, I was gonna say Vectal, but it's a uh, Roche. Royo. Royo ho. <laughs> care or pull Royo back to the cave. I don't think that that was yeah. physically, but that's, a, that's why that chapter ended where it did because it literally could not have happened. So suspension of disbelief, which is fine. Yeah. But um, I need to say how much I despise the usage or the, the words that they're using for sex, uh, like hanky panky. Hanky and, panky and what was the other one? Uh, rompy pompy. Rompy pompy. Rompy? What the hell? Rompy. What the Ooh. hell? What the hell? <laughs> Rompy Poppy. I've never heard that before, and I'm pretty sure she just made it up. And I'm pretty sure it should have never been used ever. She's like trying to start it. It's never going to be a thing. No, I'm really not. Not for it. I think that the writing is suffering in this one as well. I will say it feels a little bit less inspired as the first yeah. one. The first one did feel inspired. Yeah. Well, and there was world building. There was like things were happening in that book. And maybe um, that's unfair because this is kind of building, riffing on that same stuff. Yeah. So maybe it's unfair to expect too much from it. Right. But I will say that it's not holding my interest in the same way that the first one was. Yeah, I, I agree. There's been some good steam, but I, I will was just say, gonna say, what like how do you feel about the steam and the smut smutty smutty I'm, things? I'm feeling undercooked, personally. <laughs> undercooked. I'm feeling undercooked. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm feeling undercooked. I think that, you know. In this last hour, somebody better turn up this heat. <laughs> we better get some experimentation, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. We're like a minute away from our place now. Um, is there anything else that... Can I turn right on reds here? Sure, why not? I don't know, maybe that's an Indiana Fuck thing. The, rules. the noop did come back. Noop was actually he, pretty funny. Yeah, he, he did, he oh, did this place. utilize noop and it was incorrect and very funny. Very funny. This place is cute, look at it. Look. Oh. Wow. There's some water. Wow. Very cool. Okay. This must be the brewery. I think that's we're going where we're to. going to eat dinner. Nice. Very fun. Okay. 
Okay. This is cute. This is like a developed little town. Yeah. I was not... expecting like Boondocks. a little bit sketch, just yeah. because that's usually what the places are that we go to. <laughs> like to live life on the outskirts yeah um but okay all right yeah i think that's good for now we'll see you later worms we will see you in a bit bye <laughs> what the hell just trying to take a thumbnail <laughs> no this is terrible lighting it's awful lighting it's very likely. yeah we'll just do it later <laughs> thumbnail later call me out tiger call me out why don't you Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right Go right in I wanna fall deep within But don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away my outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground But my ways are mine For love Now take back All them hard words I'm a grown woman With confidence and sense In the middle Meet me in the middle I'm a riddle Figure me out We'll turn it Hello. We are on the final leg of this trip. Vacation has been vacationed. Vacated. Vacated. Ooh, even better. Um, we now have our beautiful Govlin back, as well as our little Kit Kat Buggo. <laughs> so we are rolling deep with the pets and are about to listen to the remaining hour and 13 minutes of Ice Planet Barbar what is Barbarian Alien. Barbarian uh, Aliens, the we conclusion. The, of the series. <laughs> of the, of the series. <laughs> um, we have it all queued up. A uh, little bit weird to be listening to this with our children in the car. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> awkward. It's a good thing they don't speak English. Yeah, though. earmuffs, everyone. But yeah, I don't know if I have any thoughts right now as to how I feel, other than the things we've already said, because we have to get back into it. I feel like I have to reacquaintance myself with Rahosh. With Rahosh and Liz. Liz, see, you're better than I am. All right. Because I've been thinking about it all vacation. You've been thinking about this all vacation. Yes. What's going to happen? That worries me. Is Rahosh ever going to become more three-dimensional? Is Liz going to feel less like Rahosh is a captor and more like Rahosh is a lover? <laughs> Probably saying his name wrong. I don't, no, I think it? it's Rahosh. Rahosh? 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 I don't fucking know. It's like Josh, but... <laughs> Maybe it is Rahash. We're, we're like almost done with it and we still don't know. 
that's pretty bad. Yeah, I, there better be some steam coming up because you know, I can count on one hand. Yeah, th- I, how much I, steam. I don't know. I know we've said it already. I genuinely don't know why people are saying that this one's better than the first one. Can I? I've got a theory, and I think it's because okay. this one's like a little more of like a tease as far as the steam goes. You know? But that's not normally what people read these or like read smutty books and want. Like right. I feel like the vast majority of people who read like smut books are there for the smut. Right. Now I will say that this series might be different because there does seem to be like actual story and plot, but I think that it's lacking a lot in this one. Yeah, I would agree. I, it's just like it's it's been way too. They've just literally been in the cave. Yeah. And they really haven't done a whole lot. They finally lot just the left. Cave. I remember they finally just left the cave and then. Um, and they're like those two those other Those two guys other aliens that are. Too. Yeah. They did not resonate with any of the. Correct. Captive women. And Rahosh or Rahash seems he's, to think that they're going to take her from him. Yeah, he seems pretty he's sketched like, out by him. He's like pretty like, On you edge. touch her and you die yeah. type thing. Um, and we just learned his traumatic, traumatic backstory. Yeah, about his parents. About his parents and things and like why he's like a scarred alien and things like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Does it make me empathize with him more? No. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Maybe a little. Maybe a little. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, like, obviously he's a little bit... I don't know if it's Liz that bothers me or if it's Rahosh that bothers me. I don't me, like either of them, honestly. I feel like there's no actual chemistry. I I mean, we. I could just re-say everything I've already said in this video of, like, you know... Dude, give me Vectal and George. I want Vectal and Shorshi again. All day. All day would read about Vectal and Shorshi, but we are left with Rahosh and Liz. So let's conclude this this story and then we'll come back for final rating and final thought on this last bit of the road trip. Last leg of the book for the last leg of the trip. We did it. We did it. Ice Planet Barbarians 2, done and dusted. Done and dusted. We finished with 16 minutes to spare in this road trip of ours. So we're just gonna give you a couple of final thoughts. <laughs> Sid, final thoughts. Um, I feel like it wasn't great. <laughs> How do you feel? Well, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I did not like. <laughs> did I, I didn't like. So, <laughs> can I preface this? Let me bracket it. I'm a sidebar. Sidebar. So obviously, I'm not super familiar. With, you know this genre. Like, I, you know, all the things that I've said with the first the first one of this. So, yeah. basically, I did a lot of comparing this one to the first one. And, you know, I was, I was like I told you. Yes, Juno. <laughs> Juno has thoughts, too. But like I told you, it's just, it felt like it rated lower on everything that I liked about the first one. You know, so, like, yeah. the... All the, the plot, the storyline, the characters, the steam, the chemistry. Yeah. All of it was, Just in like, our opinion, our collective opinion, like, less good than the first book. Yeah, like, he, like even the steamy scenes, it just wasn't described No, there was, opinion. yeah, yeah. The first book, it felt like they went into detail on things. The, the story was, like, uh, more fleshed out, maybe, just more happened. And we were in the cave for way too long in this story. And the steamy scenes were just kind of, like, quick and no huge... Well, there was something. There was something huge. No big payoff, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't very exciting. Yeah, it, it just, it really just kind of like the pacing of the whole thing felt a little bit off. Whereas like the first one, it seemed to flow like really well. Yeah. And I think that that just kind of took us out of it. And maybe it's different because we're listening to this together. So but maybe I, we were being like, I, I kind of, I kind of thought about that, how maybe someone might comment and say that like maybe it's different because you're experiencing it at the same time and being a little bit more critical is that literally yeah, yeah. word for word what you just said literally. well that's what i i already had that thought and i in my mind was like kind of i i genuinely think that i would have felt the same way because the things that i had issues with with like the chemistry and the characters that's very just like how i view those types of interactions and how i view how she was feeling about the situations in the beginning and I don't know, I feel like a lot of things about this book I would have felt regardless. I don't think, for me, that lis listening to it together made me... I wasn't embarrassed yeah, by listening like, to it, you yeah, know? Like, okay. I wasn't like, oh, I feel bad for making you listen to this. Right. Which, I'm surprised I wasn't, because that feels like something that I would feel. Well, but I mean, like, we both willingly went into it. Yeah, it like, yeah. It was a collective choice to do this video, because so many people wanted us to continue the series. And I'm sorry that we 
didn't love it. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll be honest, I wanted to like it. Yeah, oh yeah, we both went into it, like, I, I definitely went into it, like, excited. I be- think... Because I, I knew that I enjoyed the first book at, at least. I thought it was fun. I mean, like, I, I personally, I was expecting this one to be, like, even wilder and yeah. even crazier than the first one. Yeah. Because the first one was wild yeah, and crazy. Yeah, it was bananas. <laughs> and I was expecting this to just, like, try and ride that way and just, like, see even, like, how more outlandish it could be. I don't know if it did that. Yeah. I think it just kind of was more of the same of, like, Oh, yeah, like recycled. Yeah, kind of recycled. I mean, like, and which again, if you really like the first one and you just want to spend more time in that world, then yeah, I could see how continuing on with how it could be fun for like if you go into it for just like a good time, you'll right. probably have a good time. Right, of course. And I think that's what we did, but I think that maybe I, it's just hard to beat that first one. Yeah, it was, it's, it, I think we held it to a, a, a standard um, from the first book because, again, maybe even though you rated the first book a hard two and a half and I rated it and I rated it I think a three I was expecting at least a three which uh, that three for the first book was mostly like enjoyment like I had a great time I thought it was super fun and you know whatever so I was expecting that at least and I really can't say that I had a great time right like it was still fine right. but I really didn't love it right is that it is there anything that we Oh, oh yeah. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some redeeming qualities. Okay, so there were two things about this book that I just mentioned to Caleb that I did actually enjoy about this story. We are home. I see our skyline. Oh, God bless. Finally, that was a long vacation. <laughs> that was a long vacation. Two things that I really did like about this this book. One, heavy Metlax scene. Loved the Metlax. Big, Gotta... <laughs> big fan of Metlax. Metlax showed Ooh. up. <laughs> and I was so excited. That was that was a big high point. Yes, yes, Maybe big well. high point. That was that was phenomenal. The other scene that I really liked was the hostage scene within the last hour of the book. I thought that was funny. That was kind of funny. Yeah. And, and like honestly, I was expecting more of that kind of like funny writing. Like, yes. Throughout it because yes. I actually thought that the first one was pretty funny. Yes. You know, with all of the uh, miscommunications between mm-hmm. Bechtel and Georgie, mm-hmm. it was like, it was really funny. And maybe she was trying to do something a little more serious with this one, but yeah. I just didn't find... There were, the banter wasn't there. Yeah. There there was no like... The chemistry wasn't there. I just didn't feel it. I didn't, I didn't feel, feel it. it. <laughs> but yeah, the hostage situation I thought was really funny because obviously he wasn't really held hostage. And I thought it was cute that he was helping her with it too. Like when they, when Vectal was coming back, he was like, wait, but I'm still a hostage. Like, don't you want my knife back? And she's yeah. like, oh, right. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, that whole, that whole scene, I, I really, I did like that in the Metlax, but that still won't raise my score, of, scoring of the book. Um, I think, well, that gives it the score that it, that it gives right, it because exactly. I think the most important thing is what Caleb said, that all of the things that we liked about the first book were just not done as well in the second book, in our humble opinion. Yes. Still was, you know, it's a big blue alien smutty book. I mean, like, right. It, it is what it is. Right. And that's not a bad thing. Right. Exactly. exactly. It's not a bad thing. It just wasn't as good as the first one for us. Yes. You still might like it. Still you might still like might love it. It, it might, it might be uh, apparently. Out of yeah. <laughs> apparently, a lot of people love this one, which is great. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm so happy for you all. But we're almost home. So we're actually going to wrap this vlog up. Um, we are about to hit an exit, so Caleb might be a little bit yeah. Hold on. Focused, focusing on driving, which is Give great. A second. We just did. All, they just redid they all. They redid stuff. all of our highways, and, and nobody nobody knows, knows what's happening. What's going on? Yeah, sure. Come on in, buddy. So, yep. All in all, happy that we did this. I think we now know maybe to tamp our expectations if we do continue this series. Um, I don't know if we will. I genuinely don't. If we do, it'll be like a similar like spur of the moment thing like this probably but right. further weird words episodes will probably be different books different series can i say one thing though? you sure can i'm curious <laughs> i'm curious as to kira's story kira oh the one that isn't yet the one with the ear the one uh, with the earpiece yep. yep yep well i don't think that we have to read them in order you either. don't I mean, so maybe I'll just google which one yeah are. and i think we're gonna do a ranking ice planet barbarian 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 <laughs> ice planet barbarian covers we're gonna do a oh. ranking the covers for my patreon on. So if you are interested in that, that might be next month or something. Um, but I think that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe that can help us choose our next book in the series. Right. So yeah, things to look forward to. We learned a lot from this book and continuing the series. I think that I'm glad we did. Right. Yeah. I think I was curious and I think that, you know, it did. The curiosity has been satisfied. Yes. For now. 
remember now the curiosity has been satisfied. Yeah. So that being said, friends, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us for a little bit. Avi as well would like to say thank you. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you liked this video. Yes, oh. let us know which one is your favorite. If you've read yeah. one of the 20 some Ice Planet Barbarian books. Let us know which one is your favorite. And maybe that'll maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Because I I'm I'm here to tell you maybe I've got one more left and that's it. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, one more. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. And then I'm gonna do the two out of three. We'll see. We'll see that's, where it goes. That's fair. Oh what did you rate this book? Probably a one, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's gonna be a one for me. Yeah, I was gonna give it like a one and a half, but I would rate it like a one on Goodreads, which again is fine. Don't it's look fine. into that too Don't much. Don't look into that. Yeah, that's just like that's just us. Like listen to all the positive things we said about it and you know, it is it is what it is. What it is. That's it. It is what it is. Thank you so much for being here again, once again, and hanging out with us for a little bit. That's it. What emoji should they leave down below? I mean we could do the owl for like a met lag. Metlocks like little monkeys. Oh, Metlocks are more monkey-like, I think, is what they were described as. Yeah. You know, the thing like from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> like an Ewok from Star Wars. <laughs> okay, leave a leave a monkey down below in the comments yeah, if you're still watching and don't know what to exactly say to this video. And that's it. All right, be kind to one another and happy reading. Bye. Bye.